तत्त धीम तकिट धीम तीम तत्म Hello everyone this is Padma welcome to my channel on this channel i share with you practices and philosophy of ancient goddess tradition from my culture which is india and today i'm really really happy to share with you a practice of goddess durga i know durga is a favorite goddess of many women not just in india but in many different parts of the world and i really think that in these times well anyway that's what i hear from the women i work with that goddess durga energy the energy of the warrior self the energy of that grounded self becomes more and more important for all of us living wherever we are living in many different parts of the world the interesting thing about the elemental goddess durga is that that sense of ferocity that sense of standing your ground that sense of gathering the earth wasn't really about being against something it is simply about drawing up all of that energy drawing up that part of ourselves that is ancient and that is timeless that really doesn't depend on what people say or think or give us permission to do or not to do outside of us it just exists despite of everything outside and independent of everything outside of us and this elemental practice of goddess durga comes from some of the uh, things that are associated with her like for example the mountain which is the practice that i'm going to share with you today so durga durg the word itself means something that is indomitable something that you can't pass through something that is just there and it's timeless it's like an ancient fortress that you build out of stone and that outlasts centuries So Durga's invitation like so many of the goddess um invitations and symbols is that eternity timelessness is not something abstract and something out there but it is very much around us L- like the mountain a mountain that is there before us that will be there after us that is not made out of our mind it's not man made or uh, an ancient tree so these reminders of timelessness they also connect to that part of ourselves our consciousness that is also timeless and eternal and that is very much here just like the mountain is or just like a tree just like the earth it's very much present and available in our bodies so join me in this practice of the mountain so before we do the mountain we're going to do an associated practice which is the falcon or the big bird of prey um and this also is an ancient durga practice and it really brings our body into preparation for the the mountain practice so the falcon in dance is about again about that huge wingspan the huge wingspan of the falcon and it's like they say in the dance text that your chest is like a fortress again so here you see that imagery of something that is indomitable something you cannot pass something that just stands its ground so we hold the mountain in our body in fact we we hold the mountain it's like your chest is holding the mountain and here's the wingspan to help it and the lower body for the falcon practice is you go down sink down into the lower body into your feet open the feet to the floor you don't have to stick the feet together make some space in your hips open the femoral joint the hips are loose you can push back in the hips a little bit so you really feel the lower body becoming the weighted part of your body connecting you to the earth open the feet they are the closest to the earth when you drop your weight into your feet your feet get closer and closer and closer to the earth the goddess presence that is closest to us the earth and now the arms like the falcon huge weighted wingspan if you watch these big birds of prey they are so weighted at the same time as being in the sky and flying and now we move like the falcon but across 
the earth. It's like you're flying across the surface of the earth. And again, the chest is not closed, it's open. It's like it takes from that sensation of the wings. Feel that strength and the weight, you move your full weight into the legs. So again, it's like you're flying across the surface of the earth. Chin down. One more time. And from here now, we move into the mountain practice. So starting with the lower body, the lower body, da, 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 da. it's like it spreads like the mountain, the base of the mountain. Da, da, da. The hips are loose. Da, da, da. Drop that weight into the ground. Da. So you're not leading with your upper body. Coming into a close again. And now the arms for the mountain. You fan out your fingers and the right hand over the left. And as you're spreading on the earth, you rise. It's like you pull up, just like the mountain. It pulls up the earth, quite literally. It pulls up that earth to reach up. And it connects the sky and the earth. It's beautiful. If you look at a mountain, you will see how it seems like it connects the sky and the earth and yet it draws up the earth to do that. It draws up the energy from the earth to do that. So here we are, arms crossed, feet, does, they don't have to stick together. And again, ta -da -dum -dum, ta -da. so feel that two different movements, the spreading and the rising. Ta -da -da -da, ta -da -da, tum -tum, ta and ta -da -da. Tum, 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 da, da, da. And again, one more time. I move back so you can see my arms when they go up. And again, crossing the arms here. So pull that energy up. Don't lose that connection and fly up. You want to pull that energy up. So here we are. And da, da, da. through the hips. Da, 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 da rise 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 and at the same time feel that here feel that here that spreading groundedness and the earth in your fingertips and release da, 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 dum, dum, and coming back just stay here for a few seconds moving your hips just being in that afterglow of that movement. Just keep paying attention to what it opened up for you in your body and in your consciousness. So thank you so much for joining me in this practice. And I do hope that this will help you in times where you just want to feel that gathering of the earth. You want to kind of feel like standing your ground, gathering that earth and getting in touch with something in you that is eternal, that is timeless, just like the things around us. We are no different from the mountain and the earth beneath us. So it's just gathering that earth in us, just like the mountain does, and connecting the sky and the earth. And then you, you feel as if it doesn't really matter about what is happening outside you, that you can stand your ground just like Durga and just like the mountain. Thank you again. I hope you enjoy this practice and I look forward to your company again on this channel.